Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card, and this is Libra energy. So this is a card showing some sort of balance or fairness that is happening here. Someone is giving you the truth, and it's putting things into perspective, or it's balancing things out here. There's even an energy here of an apology. Someone could be extending an apology, or someone could be wanting an apology from you. But there's definitely that Justice energy here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy. We have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy. And we have the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. Okay, so there is definitely an energy here of you attracting someone to you. That someone feels like they need to rush in with the Knight of Swords. They want to tell you the truth. They want to make something up to you. The Six of Pentacles is again showing that they want to balance things out. So this is someone who wants to give to you. This is someone who feels like they owe you something. Um, they may be wanting to give you the truth. Um, the High Priestess is showing that there's a, a bit of a secretive, mysterious energy around this connection. And this person feels like they need to express themselves before you get away. Um, they are seeing you as someone that they don't really have a firm grip on. Um, and with the High Priestess, they could be seeing you as quite detached and, um, you know, kind of hard to reach. But there's a, a determination to get closer to you. Um, this person wants to make up with you in some way here, or they want to make something up to you. Okay, this person wants to be partnered with you and they want an equal partnership. They want to be fair with you. So let's clarify these cards, Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance, and this is Sagittarius energy. So there is, again, it's like they want to balance something out. They want to restore harmony and um, peace with you. They want to, they want some sort of compromise with you. Um, this is definitely someone who wants to be fair with you, and um, I'm seeing them practicing some sort of restraint. So instead of going to the extremes of taking a lot, they want to have that balance of give and take with you. Okay, so let's see. We have the Five of Cups in the reverse, and this is Water Energy. The Two of Cups, Water Energy, and the Nine of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy. So this person is definitely wanting to um, give you some sort of um, equal, fair exchange. There could be some sort of heart-to-heart -heart happening here with the Two of Cups. But again, there's this emphasis on being fair and balanced and trying to be your equal or treating you as their equal. Um, there's an energy of moving on from disappointment with the Five of Cups being in the reverse. Um, this person wants to focus on the good in this connection, or they want to restore the good and the balance and the harmony. There's an energy also of giving you reassurance, um, expressing, speaking their truth to you instead of being a mystery. Um, there's, uh, this person wants to open up to you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Cancer.
Okay, so the card says step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So this person is definitely coming towards you. They, you're, you're, it's like you're someone that is a goal for this person. Um, they really want to make something work and they, they may be doing something that's a bit out of character here. If this is someone who usually operates as a high priestess, this is someone who usually doesn't chase. This is someone who usually wants people to come to them. This is someone who usually holds back when it comes to communication. They can be used to being a bit closed off and being a bit of a mystery. But with this card, it's like they're stepping out of their comfort zone. They're embodying this Knight of Swords energy, which is someone who rushes in, someone who chases, someone who pursues, and they express themselves. This is someone who has a lot to say, and they say it all. They get it off their chest, because this person does feel the pressure to make things right here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Cancer. So we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so this is someone who's very eager. They may be coming in very quickly. There is an energy of you staying in this high priestess energy just to practice discernment because this is someone who I'm seeing a bit of a hasty energy. Um, there's no need to rush this situation. Um, there's an energy of this person could rush or be impulsive. Um, so there's just that reminder here to pay attention to that. Okay, so I'm going to put out another card for you, Cancer. Okay, so the card says pansy, sweet thoughts, pray you love, remember, and there are pansies, that's for thoughts. So there's definitely an emphasis on getting out of your head. You don't have to worry about this uh, connection. Um, there's an energy of things will be coming into balance here. Um, the universe is stepping in. This is divine energy here with the justice card and the temperance. So things definitely are aligning for this connection, but there's an energy of needing to not overthink it and needing to, to not take action. You need to just stay in this high priestess energy, allow it to come to you because I do see this person will be coming towards you. There's an energy of you attracting them. You won't have to pursue or chase them because they will do that. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.